Hello all, and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I'll be doing different demonstrations and explaining the science behind what we're seeing. This week, I thought we'd explore gravity. Let's check it out. There's a famous story that says Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under a tree at his estate when an apple fell to the ground next to him, or in some cases, the apple hits him in the head. Either way, this inspired Sir Isaac Newton to ask why things fall to the ground, and from that he developed the theory of gravity. But what is gravity? Well, gravity is a force that pulls everything towards the biggest centre of mass, and it is the force that holds you onto the earth. Everything on Earth is trying to pull towards the centre, and everything gets pulled towards the centre at the same force of 9.8 metres per second squared. We are going to do some dropping experiments though, to see how gravity can affect different items, and explore a bit more about the theory, as well as discovering how you can actually defy gravity. So now we're going to go on to our drop tests. The first test we're going to do is we've got a heavy astrobiology book and we've got a single sheet of paper. Which one do you think will drop first? Let's drop them both together and find out. Now you might be thinking that was quite obvious. Of course the book is going to fall first because it's heavier than the sheet of paper. But what if we take one sheet of paper and leave it flat and we take another sheet of paper we scrunch it into a ball. Now, we've got two sheets of paper that weigh the same amount. Which one of these do you think will drop first? Let's drop them together and we'll find out. So the sheet of paper that was crumpled into a ball, it fell first, even though it is the same weight as the other sheet of paper. Now what we're going to do is we're going to compare the bald piece of paper with the book and see which one of those drops first. So our book and our sheet of paper that was crumpled into a ball landed at pretty much the same time, even though the book is a lot heavier than the piece of paper. This is because gravity is pulling on both of them at the same time, but the air resistance is not holding up the piece of paper when it's in a ball, although it was slowing it down when it was flat the same way that parachutes work, where they're a big flat space to catch the air to slow down the fall due to the pull of gravity. We're going to do one more drop test for this bit. We're going to have one empty coke bottle and we're going to have one full coke bottle. Now these bottles are both exactly the same size, just one is full of water and one is empty. Which one of these do you think will drop first? Let's drop them together and we'll find out. You'll have noticed with the coke bottles that both of those hit the ground at the same time, despite one being full of water and the other one being empty. This is because gravity is pulling on both bottles with an equal force, and both bottles are the exact same shape. Now a scientist called Galileo realised that gravity would pull on objects of the same shape at the same force and speed despite different weights, and the story goes that he dropped two cannonballs off the Leaning Tower of Pisa, one that was heavier than the other, to prove this point. Gravity pulls on all objects at 9.8 metres per second squared, regardless of their size, their shape or their weight. Now on the Moon, where there is no air, there can be no air resistance and you can actually drop a hammer and a feather and they will both land at the same time. I'll put a link in the description of this video to show NASA astronauts actually doing that experiment on the Moon. Our next experiment 
we're going to see how gravity affects two items that are actually together. In a bucket next to me, I have a bottle of water, but there are some holes in the bottle. And we're going to see how gravity is affecting the bottle and the water that is in it when I take the bottle out of the bucket. So you'll notice that the water is spraying out of the sides of the bottle. This is because gravity is pulling on the water and it is trying to pull on the bottle but I'm stopping the bottle from dropping. But gravity is still pulling the water and it's still pulling it down and it is passing out of these holes. Now we're going to explore what would happen if I take that bottle out of the bucket and while the water is spraying to the side, instead of just holding the bottle still, I drop the bottle. What do you think will happen to the water? Do you think it will still spray out the sides of the bottle? Let's do the test and we'll find out. You'll have noticed that when I drop the bottle while the water is spraying out to the sides, the water stops spraying. That is because now the bottle and the water are both being pulled down towards the ground by the force of gravity and are moving at the same speed because they are in free fall together. This stops the water from spraying out of the sides of the bottle. So we've now looked at gravity as a force that pulls things down towards the air. It's what keeps your feet on the ground. But you defy gravity every time you lift your foot, every time you raise your arm, every time you stand up in the morning, you are defying this force which is trying to pull you down to the ground. But I'm going to show you another way that we can defy gravity, using another force that exists here on Earth. And to do this, we are going to be using some magnets. So I have a box here with a paper clip attached to the end of a piece of string. And you see gravity is trying to pull the string down towards the ground. And that is why the string is swinging. And if I turn the box to one side, you'll see the paper clip always just points down towards the ground. But there is a way that we can make this paper clip defy gravity. I'm going to turn this box round the other way. And then if we lift up the string with the paper clip, we will see that it will just fall straight back down to the bottom of the box when we let go. But if I set some magnets up on top of the box and lift up the paper clip until you feel the force of the magnet, you can make the paper clip defy gravity. And you'll see there that the paper clip isn't even touching the top of the box. There's a gap between the paper clip and the top of the box. So this week I have performed different experiments which explore gravity and these are all experiments that you can perform at home. Or you could pick your own items and make your own predictions about what you think will hit the ground first. I would also like to use this channel as an opportunity to answer any science questions you may have about any science topics. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers for your questions and I might even create a questions video if we get enough questions through. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring gravity.